we'll be back. Enjoy the ride. our way from Wisconsin back into Michigan, but we're not driving. I didn't really want to tackle the Chicago traffic, so instead we loaded the RV onto the SS Badger, and we're going to let them do the driving across Lake Michigan, and we're going to enjoy this awesome historic boat and give you a tour on the way. The SS Badger is a National Historic Landmark and the last coal-fired passenger steamship in operation in the United States. Built in 1953, this 410-foot ship was designed to primarily transport railroad cars. The ferry ceased operations in 1980, sitting unused until 1992, when Charles Conrad purchased the ferry, transforming it into the passenger ferry we see today. During her cruising season, the SS Badger can carry up to 600 passengers and 180 vehicles, including RVs and even commercial trucks. The ferry ride is a four hour trip across Lake Michigan from Manitowoc, Wisconsin to Ludington, Michigan. Normally what would be a six and a half hour drive. And this way you get to experience a whole new way of seeing Michigan and Wisconsin from the lake. This boat has a lot to offer during your four hour stay. It is massive. So let's show you around. There's a TV room. There's a museum, a gift shop, reporting for duty. <laughs> There's even a movie room. They also have a kids game room and they offer a scavenger hunt throughout the boat, which is a fun way to entertain kids if you're bringing them with you. If you're looking for a little bit more privacy, you're tired and you need some time to rest, there are 60 staterooms on the boat that you can rent. A snack bar. And a cafeteria. But it wasn't open today. One of the very fun activities that you can do here on the ship to take up some of your time is play around the bingo. Some of the prizes include a deck of cards, a captain's hat, if I win, I really hope it's the captain's hat with the deck of cards. I think we have like three decks of cards on the RV, so we don't need more. And I'm ready to get down on some bingo. I'm channeling my inner Anne Eleanor. <laughs> she loves bingo. Anne Eleanor, this one's for you. 41, S41. Ooh, that's one. B4, B4. B4, another beer. I 28. I 28. I got it, but it doesn't count. He's so close. Do you have to get a T in order to win this round? I didn't know this was like a thing that you would have to follow shapes in order to win. I thought you always had to do diagonal or across, but apparently we have to get a T. And four. No way. And four zero. Bingo. All right, come on up. Aww. Just need one more number. G51. G51. All right, come on up. And they have a full service bar with liquor and an impressive beer menu. If you need a break from bingo, they do have games that you can check out. We're gonna play Battleship. And 45, and 45. I am whooping Dennis's butt. I've already sank three of his ships. He's got one of mine. This game is fun. Yeah, because you're winning. Who has not? You have gotten so lucky with this game. This is ridiculous. I, I am good at battleship, friend. If you didn't know this about me, I just discovered it today, but I'm good. J6. J6. Miss. I'm coming for you. One more guess and I win. G6. Yes. Thank <laughs> you. B14, B14. You should have heard how much game Dennis was talking when we started this too. 064, 064. We're about to pull up to Michigan. It's kind of crazy in our four hour trip 
we are changing time zones and changing states. For our end destination, this really would be the same amount of time driving as it is on the ferry. But if you are going from Manitowoc to Ludington, you're safe like almost two and a half hours worth of drive time. So it's definitely worthwhile. And it's just such a fun and cool experience. I really enjoy getting to be in the middle of Lake Michigan. It feels like you're on like the ocean, honestly. The only downside is there's no sea animals that you can like keep an eye out for. Every time I kept looking out there, I was like, maybe I'll see a dolphin or a whale. And yeah, that's not gonna happen here. But it's a very cool experience. So much fun activities to do on the boat to keep you occupied, to have fun. We got real into bingo. We are not bingo people. We got down on some bingo today. Although we didn't win. Hey. I don't want to talk about it. Titanic tonight. I feel like a, I don't know, it isn't that old obviously, but it just still feels kind of like historic and cool and. Feels like from an older time. Yeah, from decades past. From <laughs> decades. The babe is out. Maggie, you did good. It's pretty amazing. We were just on a boat that big. I'm telling you what, we're watching Titanic tonight. Home. It's pretty awesome that we just get to like literally get in and just be home. I have to go to the bathroom as well, and I don't have to worry about that. There's a bathroom inside. We just loaded up on a ton of apples and donut peaches from Christofferson's farm, which is the Harvest Host we stayed at last night, just outside of Ludington. We love getting to stay at Harvest Hosts like this, especially farms. We get to stock up on yummy goodies and we get to stay for free. We'll have information about Harvest Hosts in the link below. But I think we're going to call today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed getting to ride the SS Badger with us. It was our first ferry ride with the RV and it was a really cool experience. We can now say that we have gone across the entire Lake Michigan. It's pretty cool. With our RV. <laughs> if you're interested in taking your own SS Badger ferry ride, we will have a link to book your tickets in the description of this video below. I hope you will have fun on your trip. And now is the time to give you a friendly reminder. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet. We will have more fun explorations and RV related travel content coming your way next week. Bye. Yes, she's having a baby next to her. Also, it does not happen that fast, but whatever.